Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Windows How To. Make folders. Alright, if you want to create a new folder somewhere, um, such as your documents or anywhere else, it's really simple. The first thing we're going to do is go down to your taskbar and look for the File Explorer icon. It looks like a manila folder. If for some reason you don't see that icon, you can always go to the search bar and type in File Explorer. And it'll come up. You can go ahead and click on that. Now, this is what your standard setup will look like when you open a File Explorer. On your left hand side, you'll have a bunch of drop downs. The quick access part, this is mostly used for the things that you use a lot like your desktop or recently used folders will be here if you have OneDrive or another application that's cloud storage it will show up also it will show this PC which will show you uh, the desktop it will also have the C drives and any other drives you may have on the computer your network connections and your home group if you have other computers attached or um, networked to the one you're working on but today we're going to go into documents so I'll double click that and this will bring me to my documents folder now to create a new folder there's three easy ways to do it there's a button at the top of your file browser that looks like a folder that's create new folder or you can right click go to new folder or use the shortcut shift control in and that will make a new folder now when the folder comes up if you don't click anywhere notice that it's highlighted in blue you can immediately start typing so I'm gonna put the name of the folder first I'm then going to use an underscore which is holding the shift key and then pressing the dash and then I would put a date your proper naming your files properly is very important that way you can find things later folders can have subfolders so it's always important to name your folders in a logical manner if you're working on Inkscape projects you should make an Inkscape folder and then put all your projects in that folder if you're working on um, GIMP projects or Word documents or you have a special job that you're doing then make a folder for that and then make subfolders for each piece of that once you're done typing you just simply click off and now your folder is ready to use notice that the names here the icons here then you have the date modified and the type of file this is you can always go to view and select these different icons to have a different layout so if we wanted extra large icons which are very handy if you have photos or something like that that you're trying to view large icon so you can see more on the screen medium it's just small folders files lists which are based on file name but it doesn't have all the extra stuff details tiles and content I generally leave mine set to the details that way you have the option of sorting by the file name you can sort by the date and you can sort by file type you can sort by just simply clicking on the name bar right here as it goes blue and it will bring the first file up now if you sort by date it'll go to the most recent file and if there was different types of files in here you could sort that way too and that's how you create a file in Windows thanks for watching